Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we'll see the power of if and else in Python. Or you can say that how the if and else or the conditional statement works, okay? So let's get started. So the first thing is the basic if else statement, okay? Which is based on basically the conditional logic in Python, okay? which is we have to check that whether the condition is true or false or based on this judgment that it is true or false we are going to execute our block of code okay so now we have a code here in which i have initialized the value of x to 10 okay then i'm using the if and else conditional statement and in the if i'm giving a i'm checking a condition that if x is greater than 5 okay then execute this line of code okay so i am printing x is greater than 5 and in the else part i am printing x is less than equal to 5 okay so now when this condition means when this condition will be true so this line of code will get executed and when this condition will be false then this line of code will get executed okay now one more thing many people uh just get confused in one thing in if and else they say that if this is true so this will get executed and if this is true this will get executed actually this is not the case true and false it being means true and false is checked here okay this else is a default case if you are not giving this else part okay suppose if i'll cut this and when i'll execute this so because this condition is true so this will always get executed okay but if i'll keep this okay let me just change the value of this 10 to 4 now you will see nothing will get printed okay because i have we have no default case so if this is true then only this will get executed if it is false then it will look for a default case okay if there is no default case so nothing will be done but if you have a default case if you have a default case so then in this scenario the default case will execute it and now here the default case is our else block of code okay so that will get executed so true and false are checked in the if condition okay if this is true this will get executed if this is false then the default case will whatever the default case we have given in the else block that will get executed okay this is the thing now let's move forward what if we have multiple conditions to check for okay means suppose uh, in the previous example we have only one condition to check for okay if we have one more condition to check for because in the else we cannot check for condition it is a default case so if you have to check for one more condition so then you have hold of else if in other programming languages so in python there is elif okay the short form of else if elif so i have a code which is a program for checking that a person is an adult or not okay so i have initialized the value of age to 25 and then i'm checking that in what range of ages that particular age comes okay so if i have two conditions to check for one that if it is less than 18 so it will be a minor if it is between 18 and 65 then it is an adult and if it is greater than uh, 65 then he is a senior citizen okay so you can see here if age less than 18 then minor no the second condition now i have two conditions to check for so the second condition is elif then 18 less than equal to age less than 65 if this is the case then adult or if it is greater than 65 if it is not this then the default case comes that is you are a senior citizen because we have checked for the smaller values we have checked for the between ranges and now it's time for the default case means above 65 okay so if it is 25 so you are an adult okay so when you have to check for multiple conditions you can use if elif and else okay now you cannot directly go with start with elif you have to always start with if and then elif you cannot write elif directly okay so that will be an error no. next thing is the nested if else statements yes you heard it right we can use the if else statements okay and we can nest one more if else statement inside that statements okay so now we have a case i have a number 
10 and I have to first check that the number is greater than 0 or not. If the number is greater than 0, then I'll check that number is even or not. Okay. But if the number is less than 0, then I'll directly print that the number is 0 or negative number. Okay. So for that, first of all, I've initialized the number to 10. Then I'm checking it to for greater than 0. Okay. And if it is greater than 0, then I have a nested if and else conditional statement that is if num and I'm checking for even if num modulus 2 equals equals 0 basically I'm checking for if the remainder if it is divided with 2 and the remainder is 0 it means that it is an even number so if it is an even number then this line of code will get executed and if it is not even then obviously it will be odd so I don't have to check it so I'll just print that the number is odd in my else block okay now then I've given a parent else for checking the number is zero or negative if this condition is true then it will be it will come to here then it will the condition will be checked between these okay this one this this if the nested if if this is true this will get executed if this is false then this line the else block will get executed and if you are here in the first line in the first if parent if and if this is only false then this will get printed that the number is zero or negative so when i'll execute this you will see 10 is a positive even number okay but then i'll make it zero so i'll directly i'll not go inside this nested loop i'll uh, nested conditional statement i'll just directly print here that the number is zero or negative okay so that is the case now one more interesting thing in python is that python also supports a certain version of the if else statement okay that is also called as a ternary operator okay in this you don't have to follow the syntax okay the indentation and all those things you can just do the particular thing for concise operations okay remember that thing for concise operations only you can just directly do it in one line suppose i have to check for even and odd so i have a number 5 which is stored in x so i have to check that x is even or odd okay so for that what i'll do i'll take an object and in that object i'll do what i'll just use this shorthand version of this if and else first what output we want so i want that even okay if the condition will be true if the condition is true then i want even so first what output we want so i want even so i just wrote even here okay then the checking part the condition okay the if condition so if then the condition for checking the even so x modulus 2 equals equals to 0 if this is true even will get printed okay but if this is not then the else case okay then space else and then what is the output of else what do you want to print in else so i want to print odd so odd now print the result you'll get odd okay if it is 4 you will get even so this was how you can use the if else okay So I hope that this will find very helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video.